All right, I'm getting ready to start, guys. Can y'all hear me right now? Okay, you can hear a mouse click, so seems my mics are not doing right. Thank you, thank you. Getting ready, getting ready. I said 8.15. All right, can you hear me now? It's 8.13 on my computer. <laughs> Crap, okay. Just need to go with it then. Right, it's eight fifteen. Snapcrackle. Oops. You guys have probably seen it. What's up, everybody? Trip Smith here, here to help you plan your next adventure. Been looking at all you guys in the chat, and uh, you guys are making me laugh and smile back here. Hope you guys didn't really hear me laughing and all, but uh, appreciate you guys being here. There are quite a few folks in here already. Wow, thank y'all so much. 93 viewers, thank y'all so much. All right, so what are we gonna be doing exactly? Well, you know, I get a lot of questions where people ask, okay, Trip, you know, I wanna do a kayaking trip, or whatever, a camping trip down this river, but you know, I don't know how to plan it. I don't know what river to go on. I don't know, can I go down this river? Where am I going to park? How far am I going to go? Uh, you know, is this river good for paddling? Is this, you know, river or lake or 
the coast or wherever, you know, is this a good spot? Where am I going to camp? You know, things like that. So I'm going to go just over my, go through my process of how I plan my trips and how I figure out where I'm going to be camping and where I'm going to be parking and just all the little, I don't know, I guess you call tricks that I do. Uh, some of them uh, may not be quite as a, uh, legal as others, but you know, I'm not doing anything major, majorly wrong, but anyways, you guys will, you guys will get the gist. All right. So we're, uh, how we're going to do it. We're going to start with one of my patrons. He asked me a couple of weeks ago about, you know, his area. Uh, and he said, Hey, Trippy, I'm looking for somewhere to paddle. I just don't know where to go. Well, he doesn't live very far from me, maybe like two hours North or hour and a half or something. And so I jumped on, you know, uh, Google maps and started looking around and I found a pretty good spot, and so I've already done a little bit of research here on this area. So I'm going to take you guys in there and show you guys, you know, kind of the information that I've already shared with him, uh, helping him plan his trip. Uh, you know, of course, patrons, you know, you guys mean a lot to me. Thank you, each and every one of you guys who are watching. Uh, so, you know, I was just helping him with that. All right, so I'm going to get ready to jump in. I'm going to bring you guys in where you guys can see my desktop view. Okay. We're just going to go to the entire desktop, okay? So you guys can see what I'm seeing. All right, so basically, uh, we are here on uh -oh, Google Maps somewhere right here. All right, we're here on Google Maps. Now, let me just say, all right, he lives, I guess I can say this, he lives in this area. This is around Columbus, Georgia, right? Uh and he was like, you know, all right, where do I need to go paddling? I need a, I need a good spot, a small river uh, to go kayak camping on for a few days. Now, let me just be sure that everything is going smooth. I believe it is. So you guys are seeing what I'm seeing on my screen. All right. So he asked, all right, where am I going to go? So I started looking. Basically, the first thing I did, I got on this map view, and I knew about where he lived. So I get on the map view, and I go here, and I'm, I'm just looking around. I'm just browsing for rivers and creeks. All right, here we have the Chattahoochee River, a very large river. And then I just kind of zoom in. But I, I just looked here and I saw this is the first place that I saw, Uchi Creek right here. So I was like, hmm, I wonder what Uchi Creek looks like. So I turn it to satellite view and I'm just looking up and down it and I kind of zoom in and wow, you know, that looks that looks pretty awesome. That looks pretty good. Uh, and I just, you know, kind of look at how long the river is or the creek in this instance, but I think it's pretty big. You can see it just keeps going and keeps going. So I'm like, okay, this looks like a pretty good spot. All right. So then I think to myself, okay, the hardest part is finding somewhere to park, you know, the actual logistics and getting things to work. So then I click back over here and I look, I know that there's a fort, a military base, Fort Benning South. Fort Benning is right here in this area. So I'm like, okay, is this close to the fort? And uh, yes, it is. Part of it is on the fort. So the, like, so I wanted to find somewhere to park. So the first thing I did I went down here and I found this Ushi Creek Army Campground. Now, I actually called them today and I said, hey, uh, is this for civilians or military personnel only? She said military personnel only. So, boom, that was out. But, you know, if you go and look along the river or the waters where you want to uh, camp and, you know, if near the end you find a campground or something, that's a great place to park. You can just a lot of times just ask them, hey, can I park here? Blah, blah, blah. I'm telling you guys, just asking is the best thing. All right, so now I so I started backtracking up up the river, up the creek. And I saw this right here. This is actually where it looks like the uh, the fort is over here on the right side, and it ends here. So this will be a decent stopping point right here. And you can see they have access somewhat down to the river. But the only problem is, you know, if you're doing this kind of solo or with two vehicles, there's not really a great place to park. Uh, I don't know if I would park there. It may not be the, exactly the safest. So I keep backtracking a little more. All right. We just backtrack, backtrack. And we are here. Okay. Here's a little bit of a town here. Uh, or maybe not a town, but, you know, some civilization. So I'm looking around. Up here we got the barbecue house. Okay. Might be a decent spot to park. And it's really close here. Uh, looks like you could probably get the kayaks out. Somehow it may take a little work. Oh, look, there's a little road that goes right down the edge of this here. So you can you, you can get down to the water fairly easily from right here. All right, so what else do we have here? Ah, oh, look at this. What do those look like to you guys? Those are going to be campers, RVs. This is a, a mini storage, essentially. So I'm going to just check that out and see what it is. Let's go to the street view. And let's see, what do we have across the street here? Oh, look, we have a mini storage with... Parking, basically. So what would I do? I would get online and I would call this the storage place 
And I would say, hey, you know, I'm telling them exactly what I'm wanting to do and say, can I park there? Uh, and they're probably going to say, okay, yeah, I guess for a few dollars, we'll let you park there. And there you go. you got to win there. Uh, you know, it may be worth asking this, this medical group. You could park there. Or you could ask, uh, what was that, Bob's Barbecue or the Barbecue House. You know, ask the Barbecue House, can you park? I'm telling you guys, it's so easy. And you'll be surprised how well it works just asking people, hey, can I park? And then you come on down. you got this rainbow food store. Uh, you know, they may not mind you parking there, you know, especially if you go in uh, and buy some stuff. Maybe you want to, you know, go in and sit down and have lunch here or something at the barbecue house and say, hey, do you mind if I park? And a lot of times we'll be like, OK, sure, whatever. All right. So then from there, I think, OK, so we have a landing spot, a spot to park our vehicles since that's the hardest part. So, so the next part is, all right, is the river actually you know, navigable? You know, is it going to be good for kayaking? So I'm going to go back here to Street View and I'm going to look at it. Okay, that actually looks pretty good, right? So I'm going to look on either side. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, so now let's let's go upriver a little bit. Oh, no, let's get out of street view. <clears throat> All right, so let's go upriver. And, you know, we can kind of, as, as I'm going up the river, I'll kind of look, see what it looks like. All right, so what is this? This looks like uh, some kind of rock or soapstone bottom with sand, a little bit of rapids, you know, so the water's moving. At a decent pace, so that is a good thing, and it's fairly shallow, so there's going to be things to see. Uh, let's see, let's zoom out a little bit. Let's see, we keep going up. Oh, look, you know, a little more shoaling and stuff, so you know, it looks like a pretty good river to paddle. And I'm also looking for log jams and things like that. So, let's see, see, this is nice, really good. Lots of beaches and sandbars showing, so should be decent for camping. Uh, all right, here we have a train trussle, and also as I'm going up. I'm making, you know, I'm, I'm paying attention to if there's any houses or anything along here or, you know, things I don't want to be camping around. I want to take note of that. All right. So here we have, what is that? Knuckles Road. Oh, look at this. What is that right there? Looks like a, uh, I don't know, some sort of maybe an old, where the old bridge used to cross. But I'm going to come here. I'm going to check out the river. Be sure it's still, okay, it looks good to paddle. That looks great to paddle, right? Would you guys agree? Yes. Nothing wrong with that. It looks like in this photo, the water might be a little high, maybe kind of a flood stage, but that's okay. It's you know, it's probably big enough to paddle even when it's low. All right, and even if it's not, if it's shallow, you know, sometimes it's fun to drag the kayak and stuff. All right, look, look at this gorgeous, gorgeous little shoaling. All right, so I'm just going to keep going up. Uh, all right. Okay, we have a little confluence here. We're going to follow the main river up and up and up. Okay, great. Great, it's looking good. So now we need somewhere to start, right? So can you get down? Look at this 3D. I hate the 3D. Can you get down to the river in these places? So when I when you when you get the 3D and it's all nasty like this, let's just switch over to Google Earth. Because what I'll do is once I figure I can have a place to park, which is what I'm doing with the uh, you know to start. The first thing I can do to see if it's you know even feasible uh, is just see if there's somewhere to park. So once I figure that out. All right, then, I'll, then I might go to Google Earth because you can see a little bit better. So here we were, I think. No, we were actually right here. So how's it look? Uh, maybe not too good there. But right up here, uh, yep, all right, look right here. This little road right here that goes down. You could probably get down to the water here. All right, let's check the Google Street View there. I think we can drag this man here. And we are looking at the Google Street View now. Thank you so much, Google, for all this awesome stuff. All right, look at that. That looks pretty great. That looks pretty great, right? And let's see here. So you just drive right down there, launch the kayaks. You'll probably be okay. I wouldn't park here overnight. Uh, you know, so, but I don't know. You may be able to. I don't know. That's, you know, different situations or every situation is always different. So, you know, parking and launching, you may need to get a ride. You know, you know like, you know, if he lives... Let's say in Columbus, which isn't very far, you know, he may have to ask, you know, ask a favor, say, hey, one of his family members or friends, hey, will you just drop me off and shuttle me back? Let me drop my vehicle off and then just drop me off up here with a kayak. You guys have seen me do that. Uh, so that works really well most of the time, unless you get your GoPro stolen like I did. But all right. So then I'm going to, you know, I'm going to measure out the mileage. And that's what you, I can, you, you can see I've already done here. Measure the mileage all the way down here to the barbecue house or whatever it was. And I have it right somewhere over here. It should be in my temporary places or somewhere. Here it is. 
right there. Turn it on and off. I've measured that out to be 8.7 miles. So 8.7 miles is this whole leg here. That's a, that, that's a decent overnight trip. Uh, and, you know, if you wanted to, you could even go up even further. It looks like, what, maybe another uh, eight miles or so, probably. Let's see what Highway 169 looks like. Hmm. All right, here's the creek here. Let's go back to Street View. Check it out. Don't get hit by the truck. All right, that looks pretty good. And looks like you could drive down right there. See the tracks and stuff right there? You could drive down and launch there. Okay, this looks great. So, all right, if you want to turn it into a two-night trip, you can certainly do that there as well. Let's turn this back to north. All right, so I would measure this out, get my mileages, create my map like I've shown you guys in a video in my, uh, you can go to the Planet of Kayak Camping Trip playlist that I have. And you can just look and figure that out. All right, so that's pretty much the the, the gist of this. Uh, that's you know the most or the most important things you would need to know. Now, what I might go do, I may go to like YouTube, of course, the greatest place of all, to uh, you know the second largest search engine in the world, and it's called Uchi Creek, I think it was. Let's see. All right, we've got campground, fishing cabins, and uh, no, let's go kayaking. Or just kayak, see what shows, what pops up. Wow, look at that. Okay, that's Little Uchi. All right, you guys remember, we actually passed Little Uchi was on there. And that looks pretty awesome. Uh, and I've actually, I've, you can see these are red. I've watched these. So there's some pretty good rapids uh, in the upper portions of this. And so what I might do, <clears throat> all right, and this is right, this guy, Shane Newsom. Shane Newsom. He has a pretty good bit of kayaking in Uchi Creek. So what would I do? I would shoot him a message. I would find him on Facebook, find him somewhere, and just ask him about it. Say, hey, man, I'm looking to do this. You know, Give me some knowledge. What do you know about the creek uh, or the river? And just tell me. And there you go. You, I'm telling you, local knowledge or people who have been there before is priceless. All right, so let's go back here. Boom. All right, so that is... That's the gist of it, really and truly, folks. Um, it's not that that difficult, but there you go. I so I hope all that was going very well. So what's up, everybody? So yes, how about 110 thumbs up? That sounds awesome, Indiana Bushcraft. All right, so now uh, I want some of you guys to tell me where, what area you live in, and if you have a river already in mind, let me know that river or that lake or that coastal region, and I'm going to be looking here in the chat. And I'm going to pick one of those locations and we're going to go and we're going to just go off the whim and just dig in and try to find as much information about that spot to plan your next kayak camping trip. So that looks pretty good. So that, that, that should be fun. It should be uh, interesting, I must say. Um, <laughs> so let's see. All right. Wabash River. That was the first one. All right. So boom, boom, boom. All right. I have no idea where the Wabash River, river is. So. Uh, let's see here. I guess I'm going to bring you guys back to my desktop or to my screen, and we're going to have some fun researching the Wabash River. I hope that's a real river, which I'm pretty sure it probably is. All right, desktop. Let's go to, I'm going to go to Google Maps first, and I'm just going to type in Wabash River. Uh, is it in Dublin, Ohio? No. Ooh. All right, is it in Dublin, Ohio, or is it... Somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. what's the area? Let me go back to the chat. Who is that? Wabash River, where's it at? Those, oh, in Indiana. Got it. All right, Indiana. So am I in Indiana? Columbus? Uh, who knows where Indiana is? That's Ohio. All right, let's try this. Wabash River, Indiana. Boom. Okay, here we go. Where's it at? Oh, that looks pretty awesome, that little snapshot, but that's not the Wabash River. Where might the Wabash River be? Is it somewhere up along here where the dam is? No, I don't see a river. Okay, I'm going to look for just another minute, and then I'm going to move on because I don't want to have a lot of lulls and lagging. Aha, white. Nope, nope that's, that's the white river. I'm not seeing it. Oh, I'm so sorry, Indiana. 
I'm moving on. I love you. We're moving on. All right. What's the next one I see? Uh, Mobile. All right. Escapatawa River. All right. I'm looking at that one. That's from Stretch 101B. I guess just the first one I saw. So here we go. Control V. Search. Okay. Perfect. This is down closer to me. So that, that sounds good. All right. I'll get to learn about a new river. So is it going to be right here? Yes, it is. You know, I think I've heard about this. Yes, I have. Oh, it looks, all right, it looks pretty good. All right, first, all right, me personally, I like the coastal stuff. So let's go check out the end of it and see how big it gets. See how grand this river is. Wow, it's pretty long. Okay, it gets down here into the marshiness. All right, so it doesn't just go out into the great, beautiful river. All right, so let's go down here to I-10 and see how big it is here. It looks pretty big. Probably don't really want to be paddling it here. It's just going to be all the same along the edges and not very exciting. Come on, computer. Yeah, all right, it's pretty big, so you're going to be facing a lot of wind and stuff here. All right, so let's go upriver, right? All right, let's go way upriver. All right, where are we going to start? Let's see. Let's check it out here, see how it looks. Yeah, we want the water to be flowing, or I like the water to be flowing, um, things like that. And, you know, maybe a little bit of shoaling and stuff. All right, it's still pretty big here. It looks like it's in, it looks like, uh, that's probably about standard level there. So it's still pretty slow in this area. All right, so let's get out of here. Let's keep going up. All right, but all, all the time I'm looking for parking. All right, here we have a boat ramp. Looks like, uh, I don't know if there's parking there. You know, a lot of times parking might be sketchy in an area like that, so you have to be careful with that. But I'm going to keep that in mind. 614, possible parking. All right, what we got here? All right, this is in the middle of nowhere. So Tanner Williams Road. Okay, wow, look at that beautiful beach. All right, let's check it out here. <clears throat> okay, all right, that looks pretty good. Still... A pretty decent sized river it looks does that look high that looks a little high maybe maybe not maybe not it might be about right all right let's let's keep going up see how the river gets see it see it's getting a little more shallow looking oh yeah that's pretty awesome let's see here but was there parking there i don't think there was anything there something there looks like probably private but what was this over here Oh, look, a church. That'd be good people to ask for parking. Hint, hint. Uh, let's see. What is this here? Just a little private looking road, maybe. Hmm. There we go. Any access? Yes. All right. You got access here. So this will be a good launch site. But I'm thinking I'd want to start a little higher up. You know, where the river's smaller, it's usually more interesting. All right, still looking good. Definitely, definitely navigable. Let's keep going. And all right, anything around there that looks like good for parking? Not really. Oh, let's see. Oh, okay. Here's 98. This is a pretty big road. Aha! Look at there. We got a campground here. That's going to be a good spot, probably to park. And the river still looks pretty big here. Let's see. Beautiful sandbar. Come on. Oh, wow. Look at all the down trees. That's crazy. Yeah. The, all right. So the river's still big here. All right. So that means we could probably go upriver quite a bit more. So if we wanted to land here and land at this campground, which probably goes, I'm assuming it probably has access to the river via the campground. So, all right. So if you wanted to camp or if you wanted to park, this is probably going to be my first a uh, place that I'm going to look to park at. They probably, you know, if they'll sell you a camping spot, they'll probably let you park for pretty darn cheap. At least the price of a camping spot. All right, so let's keep looking. All right, looks good. Mostly sandy. I haven't really seen any major log jams or anything. Okay. And I know you guys are probably sharing some really great information. Man, look at that. Oh, man, imagine a hammock like right there or right up there. I know this is going to be a really high bluff here. That would be awesome spot. Man, look at that. 
Oh, man, look at those sandbars. Holy moly. Gorgeous. All right, we're getting into some civilization here. No boat ramp or anything yet. So, all right, here we go. Look at there. All right, you got river access here. River access up here. So this looks like a good starting point. I don't know how far we've been. I'd have to go and I would measure it and see how far we've been. All right, but let's just check out the river. All right, let's get down here. Let's check it out. Oops. Hello. All right, looks like we've got some graffiti. Christy loves you. Wow, the river's still huge. All right, it looks... I'm going to say that's that's abnormally high. Because if you look at this sandbar here and this sandbar here, all right, now let's go back. See, all, all this I'm learning. All right, see all right, see how bright and light this water is and see how much of the sandbars are exposed. I'm going to guess this is probably going to be the most average water level. So now we know that that Google image probably is going to be flood stage or you know somewhere close but that'd be a good starting point and a river like this with all these beautiful sandbars I would be surprised if there's not a company who does kayaking or something here so let's go let's check that right, how do you spell this darn river Escatapa Escatapa River there we go all right so I'm going to all right now we're gonna do some research so Escatapa River Kayaking, let's type in canoeing too. All right, um, oh, paddling.com, look at there. All right, so here we have a trip report of a group of seven canoes and one kayak from the Bayou Haystackers Paddling Club. All right, so the first thing I'd probably do, I would look up the Bayou Haystackers Paddling Club because they're probably going to know a little bit about this. So let's see, Bayou Haystackers Paddling Club. Here they are. Look at there. You got calendar, FAQs, local trips. All right. So this is going to be a all right, rentals, guided trips, excursions, uh, Bluxy River, bum, 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 bum. Which one are we looking at? I don't know. I don't know what it was. Something. Esk, it starts with an E. E, C, D. All right. Nope. So they don't have that one in here. But you see, if you don't like this place or you can't figure it out, look at all these other places in this general area, in this region that you can. Uh, find great places. All right, offer free canoe trips on Saturday and Sunday. Look at there. All right, that's probably a free place to park. Uh, that's in New Orleans, though. All right, moving water, moving. So you have a lot of great information here. All right, but let's let's keep going here. All right, this is the trip overview. All right, so we got photos, accommodations. Where do they? No facilities. They chose a quiet sandbar. Um, what if they have parking or anything in here? Directions, resources. No. All right, look. Resources. Canoe Mississippi by Ernest Herndon. That might be good. And Paddling Alabama. See, I would check out that. And also, I would see if I can find who is the names of the people here. All right, they may be somewhere in this. I don't know. But I would, you know, find them. And I would ask them. Because people love sharing information. Or if they're anything like me. Oh, look. It's the top of um, Hollow Campground. Let's go check that out. Not in Google Maps. Where's their website? Now, this may be the one where we saw the parking. Uh, oh, look, canoe trips. All right, so here we go. So this is probably going to be some sort of one-stop shop. All right, U.S. Highway 98 near the Alabama-Mississippi state line. So, that, all right, I'm thinking this is probably the one that we saw. So I would contact these people, and you may could park here. Let's just see. How can I do that? Which Where is this at? Oh, come on. Here we go. All right, I'm going to copy this, and I want to see where this is on Google Maps. Ugh, maps. Because this is probably, yep, all right, that's the one that we looked at. All right. Satellite, where's my satellite view? Here we go. All right, that's what we looked at. So, all right, perfect. This is a easy, easy trip. These people are going to know everything about camping on this river. And, you know, they may, they probably do day trips. I don't know if they do overnight trips, but 
you know, if you pay them you know, a little bit extra, I'm sure that they'll shuttle you up all the way to where you need to go. So I say this one is settled. This one is planned. That's an easy, easy trip. All right, so now we're going to go back into the chat. Look at there. See how easy it is? Oops. Ta-da, I'm back. See how easy this is? I'm telling you guys. All right, so back to the chat. All right, I wonder how many people we still have watching. How many awesome folks are here? 104. You guys are killing it. All right. So there we go. Oh, scroll all the way down to the bottom. All right, here we go. Let's get another one. Uh, bum, bada, bum, 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 bum. Uh Aha, -huh. someone just tagged me. Practical outdoorist. All right, he, the Potomac River, West Virginia to Maryland. All right, that, that sounds pretty fun. Potomac, that's, isn't that a huge river? You sure you want to paddle the, that big of a river? I guess so. Oh, then we got Flint River, North Alabama. I need to research that one. All right, so we're going to do the Potomac River. Practical Outdoors, I rec I certainly recognize you. So desktop, here we go. Uh-oh. All right, here we come. All right, and we may do this one and one more. What would it say? Potomac River. No one wants to do a coastal trip? Come on, folks. That's where it's... That's just my favorite. All right, I'm going to find a coastal one next. That's what we'll do. Those are more fun. And I, I know the one to do. Someone asked me about it the other day. All right, so here we are. Let's go. We're supposed to be in maps here. The Potomac, that is humongous. So, all right, a humongous river like this that goes through Washington. Is that the Potomac? My goodness. All right, let's go up the Potomac. It looks like it's right here. All right, Green Ridge State Forest. Let's just click, click here. We can follow it easier. Maryland, West Virginia. All right, I'm guessing it's probably still humongous right here. Yeah, that's a – all right, see how – you can tell this is going to be a big river because it's really, really uh, broad and sweeping turn. So it's still a big river, not one that I'd want to paddle in your average kayak or paddleboard. I mean, if I was down in this section, I'd definitely want to be in my touring kayak because you're going to get winds. Uh, there's not going to be as much current generally and a lot of long straights, so you want a good straight tracking kayak. So I'm assuming, wow, it gets pretty narrow up here. Oh, wow, look at this. It cuts right through the mountains. All right, we got to check this out. Where's this? Let's look right here. No, that's not a good one. Well, I guess it is. Let's check it out. Oh, wow, that's pretty nice, actually. Oh, it looks like it's flowing pretty good. I see, you know, little, kind of little white water-ish, little ripples down there. Wow, this looks pretty nice. Oops, get out of here. So let's go on up a little bit. And and look, this is going to be so easy to do. This is an easy one to plan because there's going to be parking places everywhere. Look, um, I mean, you got Martin's Foods. I mean, one, one place I like is hotels. So if you have a hotel somewhere, go up and ask the hotel. It's worked for me. It's so easy. Hotel, a bed and breakfast. Uh Anything that's just close to a bridge with access. I don't really see great access here. And a lot of times what, why I say hotels is, you know, they, they might be a little more, uh, a little safer. Look here. A church. Come on. I mean, all right, let's, let's see. The people at the church probably wouldn't mind if you ask politely. Is that a church or is that a trucking place? That's not a church. You guys need to fix your, that's probably the church right there. All right, let, let's look and see if the access, what the access to the river looks like here. Uh, street view trip. Hello. Moving too fast. Because you don't know if there's like a cliff down to the river. Okay, you got railroad tracks and stuff. So it looks like a little adventure to get to the river there. So that may not be the best spot to park. Uh, but, you know, it's going to be, this is going to be a pretty easy one. All right, but so let's go where it's going to be more difficult. Come to nowhere. So which one's the Potomac? Because it forks right there. Is that what is this? I don't think that's going to be the Potomac, but it looks pretty awesome though. Look at that. Mmm, that's going to be a lot of dragon, a lot of rocks in that bad boy. All right, this is probably going to be your Potomac. Yep, North Branch. All right, so we're checking out the North Branch. Man, it looks looks pretty good. This would probably be a pretty fun one. This, it just seems like it's going to be flowing really well for you. All right, State Fishery or something. What is that? I don't know what it is. So this is and this is out in the middle of nowhere. All right, river trail. Oh, you got a dam. What is that? No, that's not the dam. Was there a North Branch dam? What is that? 
Aha, look at here. River and Trail North Branch Dam put in. Rivertrail.com. Here we go. Let's go to rivertrail.com. What do you say, folks? Whitewater rafting, North Branch Dam release. Okay. So these people are the folks to ask. Tour packages, adventure packages, adventure weekends. Boom. All right. So you can call these people and if anything, just ask them. You know, ask them about shuttling, ask them about stuff like that. Oh, look, we got photos. Okay. They got tubing. All right. So here you go. Here's the answer there. And I'm sure they know all about the river below and above them. You know, if you want to go, you know, way up above them. Oh, man, let's go back. Where's the map? Did it open a new window? Yeah. So if you want to keep going above that, those people are probably going to be, oh, wow. Okay, it turns into a lake. <laughs> but it's this river just right up here. So, you know, all this, you know, they're still probably, I, would, I wouldn't be surprised they're still rafting and stuff all up here. You know, it's just... It's, it's just browsing, looking around. I mean, look there. Let's check this out. Oh, man. Does it really look like that? Where's the street view? Why do I keep forgetting how to go to street view? See? That's, that's not too bad. Well, you can't see much that way. Cool. All right, so Potomac looks pretty darn good. Um, I think there's going to be a lot of different options. I mean... Uh, I'm so Lutherans. I'm just looking for parking or something. So there's so many options, so many options with this river because there's something alongside of it most everywhere. There's little towns on it. I mean, this is going to be a pretty good one. All right, so let's go do this. Look at there, it's like a coal mine or something. That's pretty cool. All right, so let's go do something coastal. All right, so I'm coming back to you guys because coast, you know, because a lot of times the rivers are going to be uh, a lot of the same stuff. Or, come on, turn on video or turn on webcam. You know, the rivers are going to be, you know, a lot of the same general planning. You know, those steps that I took are going to be the same. But, you know, I'm going to go into, you know, if I'm having trouble finding information, I'm going to go to Facebook pages. Oh, my goodness, those are so powerful. I'm going to go ask in, uh, you know, different, all the big Facebook pages. But then I'm going to look for more niche down Facebook pages for that river. You know, I'm going to look for the big town around there and, you know, uh, Whatever, if it's like Washington, D.C., which I know that may not be it, but like, you know, Washington, D.C. Paddlers Club or Washington, D.C. Kayaking or uh, Kayaking Maryland or whatever state that was. You know, I'm going to go and I'm going to find all that stuff and just look for information. I'm going to go to YouTube, look for videos. I'm going to, you know, search for trip reports, uh, Potomac River Kayaking Trip Report, you know, blah, 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 Potomac River Kayak Camping, everything. And I'm going to look for it. And there's going to be resources there. I'm telling you, everything is on the Internet these days. All right, so we're going to open up. I'm going to check the chat out real quick. Uh, 10,000 Islands, Ray Toledo said. All right, that's a pretty easy one, Ray. There's so much information about the 10,000 Islands. Um, I, don't, I don't think I – that's like the most kayak camp place probably ever. All right, here we go. Matagorda Bay, Texas Gulf Coast. Brad Dare, you're the winner. You're the winner. Is the vibe a sit-in? No, the vibe is generally not a sit-in. All right, so here we go. We are going to Brad Dare's. Matagorda Bay in the Texas Gulf Coast. All right. Let me turn you guys back onto my screen, and we'll go check this out. Now, this is where we're going to do some learning. This is a lot of times it's tougher. So let's see here. Matagorda Bay, Texas. Oh, yeah. All right. So. All right, so first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to look for something interesting that I want to see, somewhere good to camp. Like, all right, so for me personally, it's got to have trees. Uh-oh, what is this? All right, that looks like it could be uh -huh, a military base. What is it? Matagorda Island. So I'm going to have to find out what that is. West of Wildlife Refuge. But you see it? I saw an air airport there <clears throat> is what I saw. Uh, but I don't, here we go. What is this? Okay. I don't know. Coast Guard. It doesn't look like it's actually in use anymore. So you may not need to worry about it or just be really discreet. All right. So that's, that's an interesting place abandoned that you might could explore, but all right. I always like the passes, uh, the coast and stuff, but all this looks like kind of marshy and it is. So you're probably not really going to want to camp there. There probably aren't 
hammock trees there. That doesn't look very good. There's an old boat or something right there. Mm, Pelican Island doesn't look very good for hammock camping. Let's go. Okay, this side of the pass doesn't look very good. I don't see trees. A lot of times you can find trees. Uh, of course, they're going to be green things. But you know, if there's nowhere to get a street view view of the land, if you you can zoom down and you may see shadows and stuff. But this is all going to be like real shallow tidal areas because you see all these little circles and stuff. Probably what that is. So Decros Point, what is that? Okay, looks like you. All right, there's camping. All right. You guys want to do some glamping? I'm sure this looks like some sort of a lodge or a park where you can do some camping. So, and this could also be your be your base camp right here, wherever that is. I have no idea what it is. Looks like it's all dirt roads that lead out to it. Hold on, what is that? What are those poles? It's not like a military training or something, is it? See, I don't know. I'm just gonna have to find that out. All right, so I'd look up right here. Let's let's find out what it is. What do you say? Decros Point, Texas. Uh huh. What is it? Handbook of Texas. What is it? Texas Center. Bum 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 bum. Decros Point. Decros Landing. Yes, yes. Tell us what about it. Tell us something about it quickly. Here we go. Let's just do this. Images. Oh, great. Oh no, that's not there. Um. Okay, nothing great about Decro's Point there. So what is this? Okay, it was an old settlement. What is it now? See, I don't know. But I would I would Google that. Now try to find out, all right, what is Decro's Point? Oh, no. I just did that, didn't I? You guys see what I did? Here it is. All right. There's all kind of stuff. These may be privately owned. But here we go. I mean, there's a little, you know, you could, I don't know, find out what's there. And you might could park anywhere right out in here. But... Like I said, there's no trees for hammocking. But it, it, but if you're a, oh, hold up. You guys just noticed what I noticed? That would be an island. Okay, probably can't park and hang out there. <laughs> okay, scratch that. See, we learned. Not a good spot. And this is just a bunch of nothing. All right, so where's some civilization? What is this? Jetty Park. Okay, here you go. All right, you can probably find a parking spot there. All right, you may have to uh, pay for a one, but whatever. Or you could park right over here in this little overflow parking lot. Sometimes you got to be nice to people and just ask. It works, people. But, all right, and then from there, come down this canal, anywhere to jump over, no. So you're kind of stuck in the Colorado River unless, whoo, unless, where does that go? This looks kind of boring right there. A lot of this kind of looks, I don't know, interesting. Let's just say interesting. Is that a, there, there's no road that goes down there. So, all right, let, let's just, all right, let's go Bayside because it looks like it's going to be tough hmm, to get out there. All right, unless we start over here. This looks good. Can we get out to the bay here? Yes. Okay, here we go. But there's still no trees. This is all just marsh. What is that? Uh, you might probably won't get lucky in all that. Well, you might. See these shadows here? That means these are a little bit taller pieces of vegetation. So they could be hammock hanging trees. So how do you find that out, Trip? Ooh, I don't know. All right, let's click photos. All right. Okay, here we're looking around. Oops, I just did that. So we're not really seeing much great. Oh, look, here we go. TourTexas.com. There's some folks out there kayaking. So let's go look at Tour Texas. Or I go look at TourTexas.com. Boom. So there's paddling. So I would look through this a little bit. I think that's just a picture of kayaking, though. So let's just keep looking. What is this? Where's that at? I wish it would show me where that was. It's probably away. But look, because there's trees and stuff there. But I'm not really sure about it. So, uh, aha. All right, this is that canal, I'm going to guess. And look, those are hammock-worthy trees. So there we got that. Oh, look, they're cleaning up after the BP oil spill, it looks like. All right, so there we go. We got that. Where is that going to be, though? Yeah, that looks like... I don't know what it is. Uh-oh, we're, we're somewhere new now. 
Where were we at? Port. Oh man, I done lost it. Here we go. I was around Lamar. But look, all right here we got Port Aranis, Roberts Point Park. See, so always go to parks. You got a landing. I don't know about. Okay, this is gonna be easy. So look at all this parking, right? Probably going to be overnight parking somewhere here where you could pay for and you could safely do it. But you look at all this other civilization, you can park somewhere amongst all this nonsense. Um, where would I park here? Uh, at a hotel if I could. All right, here we go. This is where I'd go. I would, okay, I would pull into a parking lot at this hotel. Is it gated? No, there's not a toll or a guard or anything. So I would carefully look at all these cars and see, okay, do they have parking passes? If they don't have parking passes, you can probably park there and you'll be fine for a few days. But if they do have parking passes, I'd simply walk inside and ask them because this would be a great spot to launch and everything from somewhere in this area, you know. So there's an easy, easy spot to do it. All right, and then, then you're kind of free range. Then where would I go from there? Oh, boy. I... Well, I just have to find trees, but it all looks so marshy around here. So, how do you find trees? I don't know. Let's just let's just take a look at this. See what it looks looks like. Um, come on. Oh, semi. Ooh, out there, kind of tree, kind of not really tree. Are right, these are just planted palms? There aren't going to be random palms out there, so that doesn't look good for hammocking, but. I mean, it's going to be easy for tent camping, right? Lighthouse Lakes. See if you want to. This is all going to be marshland, and all this is going to look the same. So there you go. I mean, this one. It. I mean, it's really pretty easy. All right. Uh, you know, there's other points of interest, but you know, that's a long way to paddle across there. Uh, you know, if you if you parked at Rockport, that's a pretty good way. If the wind gets up, you know, it's going to be a little tough. But you know, there would be nothing wrong with. Camping on these little islands. Like, you know, this is probably a, a really pretty place. These little cuts and stuff. Taffy Island. But then, of course, I would go research. Uh, you know, kayak camping. Let's just do it. Let's do it. Oh, I don't know how to. All right. Kayak camping Matagorda Bay. Ivan's trip to Matagorda Island with lessons learned. Sounds like a good one. AustinKayak.com. All right. If you don't know AustinKayak.com, you are missing it. All right, here we go. Paddling trails. Look at there. All right, easy access. Allen's Landing out of the bay. There's parking. So where do you camp at? Is there going to be little chickies or something? Jetty Park. Oh, all right, we saw Jetty Park. Fun place to sup when the conditions are good. Um, I don't really see other public. All right, public access sites. Um, alligator Habitat. Here we go. Look at this. All this is a great resource. We just found a good one. All right, here's the paddling trails. What are these? Great protected place to paddleboard. Bum, bada, bum, bum, bum. But what is all this? Oyster farm. All right, so here's some interesting you know, points of interest. Boiler Bayou, Three Mile Lake. So there's a beach. Uh, it's illegal to drive on the sand dunes. So there we go. So there, I mean, we, we really found a lot. This is a county park with no parking fee required for adventures. I mean, for information, go here. So, all right, that looks like a pretty good spot. So, pretty easy to go camping here. All right, let's do one more. One more, one more. All right, uh, here we go. Mark Bessick mentioned he's a huge fan. Try a website called Terrain360. All right, we're going we're gonna to try it, Mark. Uh, Terrain 360. What is Terrain 360? Okay, here we go. Sounds pretty good. 50 degree panoramic images of trails and things like that. So this is going to be pretty sweet. So let's just go down to my area. because I know it well. Actually, no, we're going to save this for the next one. I'm not going to be greedy. All right, so where's the next one? Oh, good night, Stretch. Nice video topic. Glad you think so, uh, TNT. All right. Uh, how about Big Muddy River, Southern Illinois? Yak Daddy. All right, Yak Daddy. 
We're doing the Big Muddy River in southern Illinois. The Big Muddy River in southern Illinois. Okay, let's just let's all right. Let's just do this. Let's make let's let's cheat. Let's go ahead and jump in on it. All right, paddling the waterways of Illinois to kayak. Mm, no, see, see, enjoy Illinois. That's not that's just a touristy site. We don't want that. Here we go. Big muddy kayak. Wow, uh, that's a good one. Oh, experience is final. What is this? PDF. Special places, Chicken the Peak from Edith New. So there's not really much. Uh, but here we got Big River, Big Muddy, Kayak. Oh, boy. Come on. Keep your camera still, bro. Where, hey, where's my footage at? Where are you at, man? Here we go. He's back. Looks a little shaky. Snake? I don't know. But, but anyways, this guy might be someone. Contact. Aaron Summers, crap video with handheld, broke up a mother raccoon and a baby. <laughs> okay, so he might be someone to contact. All right, oh, look, all right, there's tubing here, Shawnee National Forest. Um, oh, look, here's a website. Uh, so there's a lot, oh, these are for different rivers. No, nah, I don't like that. All right, so... Let's go look at it on Google Maps. So we're going to go to Maps up here. Ah, oh, look at here. You got camping. Is that the that's the Mississippi? Where's the big muddy? Uh oh. Big muddy river, Illinois. Is that it? Big Muddy. There she is. All right. Let's check her out. Is the Big Muddy River really that big and really that muddy? Let's go look at it right here at Cambria Road. Okay. It looks like it's, I want to say it looks like flood stage right now, but it's all right. It's obviously wintertime when these photos were taken. Okay. looks pretty good. The water is hard to tell if it's moving. It's probably windy in this photo, it looks like. So you can't tell if the water's moving very good. All right, let's keep going up. The river's still pretty big there. Uh, zoom out. Okay, yep. See these really big sweeping turns. But it gets a little smaller as you go farther. Let's go to the next road crossing and see what she looks like there along the big muddy. The old big muddy, boys. Come on. So, uh oh, we got to go this way. Oh, it looks all right. Now we got summertime. Okay, this is looking good. Looks pretty nice. It does look a little muddy. We got the mud on the banks. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, it does look kind of muddy. So the name is fitting. It's still a pretty big river up here. So let's keep going up. Let's zoom out pretty good. Make this a little quicker for you guys. Here we go. Let's all right. Let, let's let's skip one forty nine. Okay, here we're in the middle of nowhere. That's what I'm talking about. All right, the Big Muddy takes a right. Let's check out right here. This, okay, and there's access here. Oh, not even Google Street View on that road. Must be like a dirt road or something. Here we go. Probably Google Street View here. No, wow, they haven't made it to Illinois yet. <laughs> here we go. Come on, there we go. Something to work with here. Come on, Google. You got to do better than that. Wow, still pretty good size. That's pretty impressive. The big muddy really is pretty big, and it's really pretty muddy. Let's see. Google, help me out here. I'm trying to provide a service to these folks, and you guys can't give me photos. All right, somebody's got camping down there. Oh, no, I thought that was a vehicle. Wow, it's... It's still muddy. <laughs> Jeez, it's muddy. All right. So it looks like there's a lot of river to be paddled, but it looks like this section is in the middle of nowhere. So unless you have friends to pick you up and drop you off, it's hard to find a parking spot. It's, all these crossings are on little bitty roads in the middle of nowhere, my man. Oh, parking is going to be tough along the big muddy until it comes into town.
when the muddy comes to town. So what is Shelby and Sons? Is that a uh, junkyard? No, a U-Haul dealer. Look at there. How far is it from the river? That's not too far. Tell me them folks would care if you parked up there. Yeah, they got... Oh, wait. I don't know. They may start parting out your car. You parked there. <laughs> I mean, it'd be worth asking. What do we got here? It's a little sewage treatment plant. Timber company. I'm just trying to find somewhere to park, but there's not really anything great here. And the farther down you go, the more you're going to get into... Oh, look at that photo. You know, see that? Who is this guy? Fine Art America. He doesn't tell us. Is that the big muddy? It doesn't look that muddy there. All right, let's look at some other photos. Because see, a lot of times you can go through and you may see someone kayak camping and click on their photo, and that will be a good resource. All right, did we go to Big Muddy? Let's go check out the Big Muddy. Oh, boy. Where do you search here? Oh, boy. Search. River. What do we get? No results found. Someone needs to go to the Big Muddy River and do some stuff. All right, so the Big Muddy, yeah, it's not necessarily ideal so you may need a lot of help to plan that one buddy um it's definitely big it's definitely muddy so but it looks like you can camp just about anywhere but it's gonna be muddy so bring your boots uh all right so i'm gonna go back to the chat see what you guys are up to how many folks we got in here still 79 you guys are sticking around with me i sure appreciate that all right oh good night everybody some folks are going out i appreciate you guys Oh, Miami. That would be a good one. All right. Oh, Flint River, North Alabama. That that sounds pretty good. Oh, my gosh. All right. Flint River. Because I know I know the Flint. And I, I need to plan a trip on the Flint River. And I've looked at the Flint a little bit. So let's go check out the Flint River. This is going to be good. Flint River is gorgeous. All right. I did, is it going to Alabama? Well, Flintville, probably pretty close. Flint River. Wow. Okay, this looks like a little small right in here, but let's let's have a look at it. How are we looking, Flint? Come on. Oh yeah, that looks real good. That looks. Oh man, look how pretty that is. All right, that looks good there. The Flint River. Uh, which way is it flowing? Looks like it's flowing this way. Yes. New Hope. Let's check it out here again. Nope. Come on, Google. Nothing. Uh, where did it go? Here it is. All right. So you got a lot of farmland around the Flint River. Oh, we're in Tennessee. Well, still, this looks like the section you need to paddle. This definitely looks like the section. I mean, you know, it's smaller, more to see, you know, the water's going to be flowing a little better, generally less worrying about wind. All right, so now we're in Alabama. So here we go. Now we're helping you out. Flint River, you got a road that goes along it here, but I seriously doubt there's any street view there. Flint River, come on, Flint River. All right, nowhere to park here. Hazel Green, Alabama. Wow, the river still looks pretty nice. Yeah, look, see, so got a little shoaling here. Man, this is a somebody about messed up right there. All right, so, but still, I don't even know if there's somewhere to launch there really well. I mean, look how long that bridge is on that side, but is that a drive down right there? Phew. Drive down. Yep, so you could you could probably launch there. I've launched it worse. All right, so we're launching there. Now let's go a couple days down river. That's about a half a day. I'm just guessing here. Whole day. So we're camping somewhere in here. All right, it looks like a decent spot to camp. Got a real high bluff here. You can tell by the shadow. So, But there's always going to be somewhere to camp. Look at this. All right, this right here is going to be an island in the middle. You can camp right there with trees on it. That'd be pretty sweet. All right, let's go down. This is going to be the last one, folks, because I can't just keep doing this. I'm sure people are getting pretty bored. Oh, look, a Baptist church. That's an 
a little small Baptist church. May not be anybody there to ask if you can park there. But that'd be a decent spot. Blaster Ford Reserve. All right, the seasons have definitely changed in the photos. Uh, where are we going to park? What is that? Bum, bum, bum. Okay, unique treats. All right, here's a subdivision. So we're getting to town. We're getting to town. So where are we going to park? What is that? Is that a boat ramp? No, that's a house. Elementary school. Okay, road work. Riverton Road. What is this? Oh, the fork. What is that? That looks like a good hole there. So I don't really see... I don't, I don't know. This is probably done, but I don't really see any great places to park around here. Elementary school, family dollar. Okay, Walmart. <laughs> you can usually park at Walmart or Publix pretty easily, and that's not too far. That's kind of farther than I like, though. To the river. Uh, hide and tallow. But... Of course, I would go and I would just search it, see what other people have done. But it looks like a pretty good river. Looks like a pretty good river. Well, I hope I've kind of given you guys some of my. It's been on webcam the whole time. It's supposed to be on that. Man, I'm good. You guys learned a lot there, didn't you? Anyways, scratch that. So I mean. <laughs> I'm crazy, Trip. Yes, I am crazy. All right. Yep. I'm staying hydrated. All right. Well, I'm going to, apparently, I'm getting a little too tired to do this. Mm. Hey, thank you all for watching. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Four Wheeler Jeep, Dante, Julius, Keith. Everyone is laughing. Oh, I'm the laughing stock. Great. Everyone is laughing. Goodness gracious. Is it that funny? Yeah, I guess it is. You were guys, you guys <laughs> trips tripping. All right, Miami, Florida. Uh, Ray, uh, I've looked at Miami a lot. Man, that would be tough. You got to be sneaky, sneaky in Miami. Um, will yeah? At least I didn't pick. Yeah, at least I didn't do anything stupid. I hope I didn't. I don't remember. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah. 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 Everyone's laughing. All right. <laughs> hey, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Um, this is going to be the end of the planning. I'm probably going to hang out with you guys here in the chat for just a little bit. Let you guys keep laughing. Uh, can't can't wait to see or can't see what you can. Yes, I know. I know. Yep, we love the bloopers. I love the bloopers too. Yes, be sneaky down in, uh, in Miami. All right, so how about maybe like a couple a couple little little sneaky parts? Like, all right, if I was in Miami, what would I do? I would, all right, I've looked. There's a lot of little spoil islands down in Miami and stuff. But honestly, I would go further south uh, to the Keys because it's pretty easy to do it in the Keys. Um, but in Miami, like, you're going to have to be really sneaky on finding places to park, really uh, going up to all the hotels and stuff at, like, South Beach because and just asking. You just got to ask. I'm telling you guys, you know, ask anywhere and everywhere you go if you're having trouble finding parking. That That's, that's what you're going to have to do. And if you have to carry two vehicles, that makes it really tough. But if you're in somewhere like Miami and you want to shuttle, call an Uber, call a taxi. Uh, you can you can do that. You can do it whenever you're done. Uh, you know there, there there's ways to figure it out. You know anywhere basically is kayak campable. You can do it. You just have to make it happen. Just take some thinking and digging on the internet and see where someone's done it before. Or you know if if there's like Facebook groups uh, and stuff or forums that you're a part of, you get on those. You can find people who are local to the area. And they may offer to give you a shuttle, give you a ride. I know that happens with backpacking and stuff a lot. And it may not happen with kayak camping a lot now because kayak camping is kind of small. Uh, or, you know, it's not that big of a thing right now. Uh, so, but there's people out there who would be willing to help. And that would be a great way to do it. Yeah, it's not blue, but it's just an adventure. It's always an adventure, like I say. Um, yep. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a nut. I'm a nut. Um, but so that's basically it. All right. So you want to have any questions or anything? Um, love the new logo. Hey, I appreciate it. Phoenix. Whoops. Appreciate it. Phoenix. I like the new logo too. I'm going to pick up the shirts tomorrow with a new logo. It's going to say like out there on it. They're going to be sweet. And the shirts are so awesome. Cannot wait to show you guys. Cannot wait. Um, oh, here we go. Uh, Ray Toledo. He said he works Marine patrol. All right. Uh, 
Yeah, so Ray's going to be the guy who's going to be coming up and be like, you're not supposed to be camping here. <laughs> Maybe not. Um, yeah, so anyone have any – all right, what's the material that I use for the hammock? Well, here's the hammock that I did on the most recent video. This is made out of 1.9-ounce ripstop nylon. This is, uh, I'm going to say this is what most of your, like, your Eno-type hammocks are made out of, this weight fabric. My personal hammock that I always use, which is somewhere, but I can't find it. It's made out of 1.1 ounce ripstop nylon. So it's almost half the weight. And it's it's it's, you know, it's a lot lighter and it's going to be a lot more packable. I mean, this thing, when you pack it down, uh, it's fairly small, but you see this is about the size of an Eno. Where's my... I don't have them in here. But, so this is kind of big, but mine gets so much smaller than this. And so you want to use... Um, you know, the 1.9 ounce, if you're, I'd say, over like 225 pounds or so, probably want to go with something a little stronger. If you're going to just use standard ripstop nylon, uh, 1.9 ounce. But then if you want, if you're under that, like me personally, I'm about 165-ish. Uh, and I use the 1.1 ounce. I've never had it break from my weight. <laughs> you guys remember I was on top of Stone Mountain and I poked a hole in it and it ripped. It sucked. Then I had to sew a new hammock. But... 1.1 ounce is going to do you better, but then there's a lot of new fabrics out like Hyper D and all kind of crazy stuff. You go over to Ripstop by the Roll.com and check them out. Just look at their hammock fabrics. There's really a ton there. Um, yes. All right. So there we go. Uh, hope that's a good answer. What's a good kayak paddle for around a hundred dollars? Uh, for around a hundred dollars, I would probably go somewhere to like Academy. That's where I have bought mine at. Uh, and just get the thing. There's like $69 or $79. There are no limits. It's like a carbon paddle with some poly blades. So it's really nice and stiff, really lightweight. That's the paddle I would suggest. But you can get on, you can order it off their website and stuff online or just, you know, any, really any $80 paddle or any $100 paddle is going to be a much better paddle than a $35 paddle. So almost any of the decent brands are all going to be pretty similar from what I've learned. All right, let's see. Have I ever used wheels to pull my pack yak long ways on land to the put-in spot? Yes, I have. I have a, a kayak rolling cart. Uh, I don't use it much. Uh, it's kind of worn out. It came with the first kayak that I bought. Uh, he just threw it in the deal. It's, it's, I got a steal of a deal on my kayak, and he gave me the cart, so I got a really good deal. Um, uh, but no, I don't. I don't use it much, really and truly. All right, how do I make my rain tarps? That is coming in the next few weeks. I've got the fabric right here for the tarps. Woo, this is 1.1 ounce poly seal nylon. This is going to be a sweet project. It's going to be a square 10 by 10 tarp. It's going to be like uh, not a hammock tarp. I guess that you probably could use it for a hammock, but it's going to be mainly for like, you know, just an extra tarp to carry. It's going to be real small, real lightweight. And it's going to be one that I would carry in my day pack if I were going hiking on a day hike. All right. Um, let's see. Hey, Trip, I noticed you're getting more into paddleboarding than kayaking. I noticed you use it more in later videos. Yes, I probably enjoy a paddleboard more than a kayak. It's just freedom. You've got freedom when you're on that thing. It's so nice. It's so easy just to throw things on it, paddle away, and get to shallow water. You step off. I don't know. I always say when I talk to people, I'm like, I'm telling you, the paddleboard is like sitting on the beach going down the river. I'm not even kidding. Uh, and people may think like they're not stable or they can't stand up on them. And, you know, some people may have balance issues. Um, but I feel like most of them are more stable than most kayaks. So the gravity is going to be a little lower a lot of times. And they're pretty wide. They're, they're great. I love it. I love it. So, I, and I'm actually going on a trip. Uh, either Thursday or Friday, depends on if my little boy's got the flu or not. He had a fever this evening. So, but I'm going on an overnight trip down to Panama City in on in the next few days. So there we go. All right. Uh, let's see here. The biggest question of the night. Have you ever stood up and peed out of your kayak? <laughs> Absolutely. Like every time I go. <laughs> yes, Indiana Bushcraft. I've certainly done that. Um, and yeah, I have. All right. Uh, see you, Brandon. Nice having you. Enjoyed it. Sleep well. Place a song on the travel guitar for the outro. <laughs> uh, what song do you want to hear? <laughs> what song do you want to hear? Let's see here. Uh, read one of what's. Uh, boom, 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 Indiana. 
Oh, oh, I, I guess it's a comment. Read one of these. I don't know. Any tips for saltwater trips? Do my first one next week. Uh, pff, just have fun. Um, don't don't go far on this first trip because you never know. You know, on saltwater, you're in larger open areas, uh, and if the wind picks up or something, it can really make it pretty difficult. Uh, depending on what kind of kayak you're on, if you're, you know, most people, I don't know what you're paddling, all things outdoors, um, but most people are on like sit on tops and stuff, uh, which are don't do well in the wind. You can, you know, wind and chop really slow you down. So just uh, pay attention to the weather and don't overdo it. Just get out there and just enjoy. Just do something small, simple, easy, and have fun. Bring plenty of water. Bring away to play some good music or two ways to play some good music and you'll be great sweet home alabama <laughs> free bird wow <laughs> and of course the two most requested songs ever do i know anything about diablo kayaks brad dare ask yes I, a little bit i saw them in icast um they're if i'm thinking of the right ones which i think i am they're pretty wide i mean pretty wide so they're not gonna so you know all right, they'd be good pretty good fishing kayaks they're really shiny i think uh, they have a lot of cool deck padding on them. Um, I haven't paddled one. They look good. They wouldn't fit what I do for fishing. They're probably going to be pretty good. So um, definitely demo one or buy a used one uh, your first time. That'd be my tip. Uh, oh, only going out nine miles and back on a sit on top. It'd be good all things outdoor. That's not bad. Do I have any outdoor goals for the year ahead? Great question, River Kings. Um, just to get out there, <laughs> right? Uh, just to get out there more. I don't know. I would love to go down the Florida Keys. You know, that's that's my goal, and it's been my goal for a long time to go down the Florida Keys and do a paddling trip. So that's why I'd, I'd really love to be able to do that. There you go. <laughs> um, I should make custom hammocks and turn it into a business. Ah, eh, I'd rather make custom uh, YouTube videos and turn that into a business. <laughs> If I can, instead of being stuck in a sewing machine all day, I'd rather be stuck on the water. See? Hey, Trip, what's a better material for a sideline? I've been using paracord, but it stretches. I'm going to guess you said ridgeline. Uh, a better material for that is going to be zingit. That's what I use for mine. Zingit, I have some somewhere really close. Here's some, basically. This is this is it right here. Uh Use that. It's a Dyneema. Zing it. You can get it off Ripstop by the Roll or DutchwareGear.com or Amazon, wherever. Get some of that and make the ridge line. That video, I'm hoping to film it tomorrow. How to do your ridge line, right? Okay. All right. Uh, let's see here. We want a Freebird outro. You know, I don't really play Freebird. Give me another one. And not Sumo Alabama either. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Freebird. Wow. Okay. Everybody wants Freebird. All right. I might try Freebird. All right. Uh, closest call with a sturgeon. Never had a close call with a sturgeon through three, four outdoors. Was I in Dothan the other day selling a trailer? Yeah, I was, Chad. That was me. <laughs> and, yes, I was in Dothan the other day. I'm actually in Dothan right now. I live in Dothan. <laughs> All right. Oh, sweet. Awesome, Nathan. Glad you've been inspired to buy a, a kayak, man. Trip, I should come to – you should come to North Carolina and join me in River Kings for a trip. I know I should, but I'll be joining you guys on a live stream or an interview soon. Everybody get ready for that. I'll be going on their channel. What is it? All Things Outdoors. Yeah, I think that's the channel name for something. No, no, it's like Wonder Trishan. Trishan Wonder. What is it? I'll be going on their channel and doing some live stuff. They're going to interview me. Pretty cool. All right, let's see here. Do I think touring kayaks are better because of the distance advantage? Uh, Technically, no. Um, I think, well, if you're going distance, yes, I think they are. But, I mean, I think whatever you enjoy the most is the better kayak, right? Uh, you know, I use my touring kayak when I'm going distances, but I love the stand-up paddleboard because I love just being free, not in the open, and just sitting on the beach, going down the river, or sitting on the beach, on the beach, or at the beach. Uh, so whatever you like is what you like. Try different things, try different animals, and that's what you need to be paddling. Whatever you can afford to get out there in is what you need. Okay? And whatever can, of course, safely carry you and your gear to do kayak camping because I've seen people overload these things, and it's fun to watch. <laughs> It's really fun to watch. Um, let's see here. Uh, smash the thumbs up button for me. Absolutely, Indian Bushcraft. Let's see here. Wondering Monkey. That's it. That's it. 
Uh, dun, 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 dun. Do I have a name for my sup and a name for the yak? No, I don't. I, I've never named my kayaks. That's an interesting thing I could do. I like it. How about how about fancy? <laughs> Come on, fancy. Don't let me down. Let's see here. Uh, kayak that creek that comes out of Merritt's Mill Pond. Been I've done that many, many, many times, Chad. It's Spring Creek. Yep. Yeah. It's a pretty nice little little spot. Oh, 20 yards. Wow. That's close for a sturgeon. Kayak Voodoo coming your way soon, Christopher. I'm jealous. Um, I, I talked with Kevin. He sent me a message. Kevin, the owner of Kaku Kayaks, who makes the Kahuna and the uh, Voodoo, their new stand-up paddleboard. He said, Trip, we got to get you paddling one of these things soon. And so uh, soon he's going to be heading this way and or going by. You know, he lives down in Florida, and sometimes he travels to Louisiana. So hopefully he's going to stop by and uh, let me hop on one. Maybe let me borrow one for a little bit. We'll see. I hope so. All right, let's see here. Trip, hit me up when you head down to the Keys. Oh, yeah, see? See, that's what I would do. When I'm going down the Keys and need somewhere to park, I would hit people up who live there and who already know me. That's kind of a little advantage I have, but sorry. <laughs> you know, take advantage wherever you can, right? <laughs> uh, let's see here. What kind of starter fishing kayak? Ryan Chapman, I have a video um, buying wait, uh, kayak, buying smart, smart buying of a kayak, something like that. Um, that's what I would I would look up. Just whatever you can afford in your local area that you could buy used. That's a decent fishing kayak because you can get it. You know, there's a lot of different features, a lot of different types of kayaks, widths, lengths, features, um, price points. And so you don't really know if it's your first kayak. You don't really know exactly what you want and what you'll like. So just get something that you can try out and learn what you do and don't like. And then whenever you say, OK, I think this kayak will be a little better for me. You can sell that kayak for what basically what you bought it for. And you're out no money and you can move on to another kayak you like you just keep doing that keep doing that till you think you found your ideal kayak and if you want to invest in a new one do it then that's what i would suggest oh let's see here take this job <laughs> yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't know that paycheck song I don't, well i mean i do all right we might uh let's see here um the Ascend 12T is a great starter fishing kayak yes i've paddled the Ascend before it's a pretty darn good kayak it's big and heavy um, so, um, I wouldn't suggest it for long trips, although it'll do it. It's, it's got a ton of storage. It's like a aircraft carrier of the kayaks. Um, uh, yes, definitely demo kayaks. I have, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but then you're going to really get a craving for a new one, which there's nothing wrong with that either. Uh, you know, whatever you can afford. Oh, wow. Miami boat show this weekend. Wow. I went to the Miami boat show several years ago, Ray, and it's absolutely awesome. And I think there were some kayaks there, but mostly like sailboats and stuff. And, Big boats, a lot of money. All right, let's see. Hey, Trip, heads, heaps of people use sit-on-tops in Australia, and I'm trying to tell people that they can use these for camping out of, too. Yes, they absolutely can use sit-on-tops for camping out of. There's nothing wrong with it. They even have some uh, touring-style sit-on-tops out there. Uh, you know, so you can go far, quickly, efficiently with a sit-on-top. That's what you like. There you go, sit-on-top. Uh, all right. Do you know any places to buy used kayaks in Alabama? Yes, I know. I actually know a great place to buy used kayaks in Alabama. Uh, in all right, where I went down the Coosa River. No, yeah, the, the Coosa River up in Wetumpka, Alabama. There's a place, the Coosa River Adventures. The the owner up there, he gets new rental kayaks every year. Nice new wilderness systems, uh, 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 native kayaks, uh, everything. I mean, lots of really good kayaks, and he uses them for a season. And then he sells them at a decent price. I have some friends who bought kayaks from him used and great spot to buy used kayaks. Kusa Adventures. Tell them Trip Smith sent you. All right. <laughs> um, but that and also, of course, the best place is probably going to be Facebook and Craigslist. That's where I would look first. But you can call him. What's his name? Greg? Maybe. I can't remember exactly his name. But call him and say, hey, uh, what kayaks do you have? Because right now. He's getting in his new fleet, and if he still has some left over from last year, he's wanting to sell them cheap. Call him. All right? Tell him trips, sent you? <laughs> Just kidding. You don't have to. All right, let's see. Camps, all things outdoors, he camps out of a 10-foot sit on top. That's awesome. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. You can certainly do it. Um, you know, it depends on which 10-footer. I know, like, the Pelican, like, 110 or something, that would be tough to camp out of unless you're just really minimalist. But I went on a camping trip with a buddy in one of those, and, we carried all of his gear for him. <laughs> it was funny. All right. Uh, man, I got a trip to put out kayak camping. I got a trip to put out kayak camping on a tandem sit on top, towing a homemade styrofoam foaming trailer. Totally overpacked. Yes. 
yes, see, yeah. I don't I don't like towing the trailers. That'd be bad to get hung up on a snag and you're gonna be bad. Summer trip down Holmes Creek. Yes, I want to do that, Chad, for sure. All right, uh, what's up, M Bell? You're you're a little late to the party. <laughs> That's okay. All right. All right, folks. Hey, I really appreciate hanging out with each and every one of y'all. Thank you for everything you do. Thanks for just just watching my total craziness. I can't believe I didn't have the desktop on and you guys were just watching me for a little while. So skip through that. I hope everyone skipped through that and whatever. I'm an idiot. All right. Uh, am I, are you recording the trip this week? Yes, I am recording. It's going to be a great adventure. Just a fun laid back trip. Uh, hope to catch some crabs. I don't know if they're in season or not down there yet, but I need to catch something and cook it on the grill. That's what I want to do because I'm, I'm not going to be paddling far. I'm just going to be going out and just chilling. So it's going to be great. Yep. Thank you all. You're welcome for the great info. I hope this helps you guys paddle your trips so you can get out there and live the adventure. That's what it's all about. Oh, and get ready for the shirts. I really hope you guys like them and buy a shirt because they're they're super awesome. Like They're like 100% polyester, but they feel like the Cotton Tribe wins. So you can wear them around town or you can wear them in the water on an adventure. Oh, so nice to get those. They're so great. All right. Yep. Thank you all very much. Uh, good times. Get out there. God bless, and I'll see y'all in the next adventure or the next video, whichever comes first. Probably a video if I get to film tomorrow. That's my little buddy is sick. And I stay home with daddy, but that'll be cool too. All right, take care of yourself. All right, Ray, I might hit you up one day, buddy. Maybe parking down there, sleeping on your couch or something. All right. Oh, yep. Oh, yes, MacGyver did tag me. I need to do that five things, don't I? Ah, Mark, he tagged me. All right. All right. Take care, folks. Be good. And good night. Now, how do I end this thing without? Thank you. I hope he feels better too. All right. Love y'all. Stop broadcast.